Hey guys, so um, this is like a very unusual video because you know that I usually don't make videos like this, but <laughs> here's the thing. Um, this has come to my attention by several people that used to be on my YouTube channel before my YouTube channel exploded and, um, you know, and you guys being my subscribers, which I am so grateful for you guys. Um, but the truth is, is that before my channel had exploded, when I had about 200 subscribers and then I went up to about 700 subscribers, um, the thing is though, is with that being said, I had recently had videos on my channel. Um, there was a, a series on my channel that was called Bed Talk. And me and an old friend of mine used to do those videos together and we, we still talk, we're still friends, but we're not as close as we used to be. Which is very sad because I do miss that person a lot and I wish that person was still in my life. Um, as much as they used to be. However, with that being said, I used to also have another series on my channel called My Life in a Week. And that series was a lot of fun. It was kind of like a bigger version of vlogging. Um, I would do anywhere from two to three videos in one day, every single day, for an entire week. And then I would edit it all together into a giant movie. And then that would basically go on to YouTube to be like, this is my life in a week. This is what I do, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, and I ended up taking down the original Bed Talk videos and I took down the My Life in a Week videos, um, mainly due to the fact that there was people in those videos that I didn't necessarily know if they would feel comfortable with so many people seeing who they were. Um, you know, and I know a lot of you guys notice that I say um a lot, and I'm sorry, but that's just how I think about things. Like, that's me thinking, that's me taking my time, because I care about everything that I say, because it's what you guys hear. So I want you guys to understand that. I'm not, I'm not trying to say that it's an ethical or logical or in any ways not smart or proper English to say um a lot but you guys also know I say and everything a lot as well I mean I have t-shirts that say hashtag and everything on my website um, <laughs> but anyways I also have several other people that had also been in my channel before and I had taken down those videos and a lot of those people had contacted me saying, why did you take down the videos? Why did you take down this? Why did you take down that? Like, was there something wrong? Did I do something wrong? Did I upset you? I really liked that footage. And I really want my friends and my family to see the footage. And I basically told them, I was like, the reason why I took down the footage is because I, not by any means, you know, because I found it very sad and very disheartening that I found out who my true friends were when they realized how popular I had become. And a lot of them wanted nothing to do with me anymore. And some of them just dropped me as if I was nothing. And some of them wanted everything to do with me because they they thought that in some way they could use me to grow their own propaganda. And I'm all like, really? I'm like, so we went from being friends to now I'm just your come follow me person. And that's the reason why uh, you know, Susie Spector, Travis, um, those two people, I, you know, and Tommy, which, you know, you guys will be seeing in a video here pretty soon. Th those people I, I have put on my channel, I've, prom I've promoted their, their social medias and stuff like that because I know that they're respectful of me and they're going to be respectful of those that follow them. And they're true people like myself. They're not going to lie to you. They're not going to tell you do this and this because 
regardless if you know it or not, I get a percentage off of that. You know, any time that I've ever done anything sponsored, I've always told you, I'm never going to sponsor a video unless I know that it's good enough for not only myself, but for you. And that's me telling you the truth. I'm not going to sit there and sell you any product just because I want you to buy it because I want a form of, of cash and money. D doing videos and stuff like this, this is a hobby. This is my, this, this, I, I take it as a job, yes, but it's a hobby. I love doing this. It's fun. And I love your guys' comments, your guys' feedback and telling me you're inspirational. You mean the world to me. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be doing this. I wouldn't be doing this. I think the biggest message that I had gotten not too long ago was somebody that had told me that the person, I'm not going to say names, but this person basically wanted to commit suicide and when they had seen my videos, they had changed their outlook of life and it made them feel more like they needed to do more with themselves. And, you know, and a lot of people, you know, another way that I found out who my true friends are is when people that care about me see the hateful comments that I get, they automatically stand up for me, they believe in me, and they tell me to keep going. And I'm not going to lie, some of the comments that I get are horrible. They're horrible comments. And I'm just like, I don't, I don't see how a person could be so horrible to tell somebody to go kill themselves or that their mother should have had an abortion, you know, because I'm a disgrace. Like, you know, it, it, you know, that's, that's the thing, you know, and it's, it's crazy to sit there and think that somebody can be so mean to somebody and I still don't understand why it happens, but it does, it does, it does, it happens. And I, I, I don't understand it. Um, it's a funny thing how the mind works, especially with other people when they think and see about other people, um, and how other people judge other people, and most of it's based on jealousy or the fact that one person has something that the other one doesn't. And that's a lot to do with some of the people that used to be friends with me before I, I blew up in my career on YouTube and having a fan base and and being respectful to tons of other people and showing them this is an outlook of life that could help you because it's going to keep you positive all the time no matter what other people think about you and then constantly look at other people and say I love you no matter what even if you put me down I'm still going to love you because you bleed the same color as me and I respect you and you know and and other people never got that they never understood that and I get some criticism for that because they're like well that's not one way to think about life because if you keep thinking about life like that everybody's just gonna run you over and I'm like well no there's a time where you know you can tell everything to kind of just stop for a minute and be like okay no I'm going to stand up for myself because this has gone too far I've given you chance after chance after chance and you know that's the same thing with trying to collaborate with people is I I've tried collaborating with other people and no matter what I do no matter how much I talk to the person no matter how much fun I can make it sound they're not interested are they're interested but only for one reason because they know that they're gonna get followers from me and I am not by any means someone's fan base maker, someone's following maker, I'm not, I'm not someone's money maker, I am me and I do this for fun. You know, I make videos because they are fun. I'm not sitting here going, numbers matter, okay? You know, yes, in some businesses, yes, numbers matter because you need people to be able to buy products and stuff like that, etc. Okay, you know, that's like having a makeup line and everything. That's, you know, without people to buy your products, you have no business you know and the sad part about it is is when you have people out there that used to be your friends and then all of a sudden they just look at you and they go yeah sure I'll do a video with you and will any of your followers follow me of course they will because you're gonna put my links down in your description right and I'm going I, yeah I guess yeah of course I mean <laughs> we're doing this for fun right and then why we're doing the video every 
you know, two or three minutes, it's make sure to follow me on Snapchat, make sure to follow me on this, make sure to follow me on that, and I'm all like, can we get back on what the point of this video was? It's not about you getting followers, it's about us having fun and doing this. I think they'll follow you if they really want to. <laughs> you know, you, you can't force somebody to do that. And so that's the reason why I've come down to the decision that if, if I'm going to collaborate with anybody, I want to collaborate with somebody that's as decent as myself, somebody that doesn't really care about the numbers, but cares about their fans as human beings and not as a number, you know? Um, just because you have 31,000 subscribers or a million subscribers doesn't mean that each one of those subscribers doesn't have a name. They have names, they have feelings, they have, they're they a human being that's watching your videos because there's something about you that they like. And just because you tell people to go follow you doesn't mean that they're going to go follow you just because they say so. People follow people that they have a reason to follow, either because of an impact that they've made on their lives or just because of the way that they like, because they like the way that that certain person does something, you know? That's the reason for that, you know? And I've, I've gotten to the point to where I'm just all like, people that, you know, want to use me for follows, I'm just like, really? Like, we used to be such good friends, and what? Like, now I'm just, you know, ditching, you know, that's, that's what I've become. And it sucks, um, but then I do have true friends as well that are constantly there and always willing to support me, and it means the world to me. You know, I would love to, <coughs> sorry, I would love to get into vlogging constantly and doing more vlog videos and stuff like that, but it's so hard to do vlog videos when people around you, they don't understand the point of it. I mean, it's awkward walking through a mall or a Walmart with a camera like this going, hi everybody, da 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 da. You know, and you're talking to your fans, your followers, the people that love you, and you have people walking around you or your friends that are with you and they're going, what are you doing? Like, you know, or like, what's the point of that? What are you doing? And it, you know, and it, it's kind of, it's one of those things, like I once had a, a YouTuber tell me, if you don't talk to yourself constantly, you're not doing it enough. And I never really understood that. I never really understood that. So, I mean, as of right now, why I'm making this video, even knowing you're watching it and you're listening to what I'm saying and I'm talking to you, as of right now, why I'm making this video, I'm literally talking to a camera lens. And I'm, I'm talking to the camera lens as if I'm talking to you, which sucks because that's the reason why I want to do meet and greet stuff. So that way I can put a face to the people that I am talking to. And that's the reason why, like, with my meet and greet coming up in Florida, I'm so excited because I'll finally have faces that I can put to the fact that those are the people that I'm talking to. Those are the people that are watching my videos. And it's not just somebody's username. It's not somebody's just, you know, the picture of their username. It's a person. It's somebody. You know, that's the fantastic part about it that I'm like, yes, you know? And that's what I'm excited for, is to be able to see who I'm talking to instead of just talking to something that says Canon above it with a round circle lens that adjusts itself to focus, you know? Um, but I will say that the hardest thing about YouTube right now is the fact that I guess apparently there's this, this bug or something that's going around that is when somebody uploads a video, when a YouTuber uploads a video, and this has happened to me tons of times. I've seen the comments of some of you guys saying, hey, for some odd reason I was unsubscribed from your channel, I don't know what's going on, blah blah blah, and I'm just all like, uh, what? I don't, what, what's going on? And I'm all like, well, thank you for resubscribing again. I'm sorry that you were unsubscribed, but I don't know what's going on. Well, after I had done some research and everything, apparently there's a bug that's going on that when somebody uploads a video and they publish it, they immediately lose subscribers. There was a, there was a YouTuber that had almost 
I think it was like 50 million subscribers or something like that. An ungodly amount of subscribers. It was ridiculous. I was like, whoa. And um, he uploaded a video and he lost like 100,000 subscribers in one second. And I was like, what? And he was like freaking out. He was like, what is going on? Like I published a video and I'm losing hundreds of subscribers, thousands, millions. Like what is going on? And YouTube basically replied on Twitter basically saying, there's nothing wrong with our system. But there's not because why are we losing subscribers every single time we publish a video? Like I watched my channel go from 31,000 subscribers to 30,000 subscribers in one post and then watch it go all the way back up to 31,000. Like it, I was like, what is going on? I'm like, and then I'm getting comments and Snapchats and Facebook messages going, I was unsubscribed from your channel. Did I upset you? I'm sorry if I upset you. And I'm like, you didn't upset me. I didn't even know you were unsubscribed, you know? And I'm all like, I don't want pitchforks and stuff coming at me going, why was I unsubscribed? And I'm like, I have no idea. I don't know what's going on. You know, I don't, I don't work at YouTube. I just work in it. <laughs> That's it. And, uh, so yeah, that's been going on. So if you love watching my videos, if you are a big follower of mine, um, which if you are, I love you so, so, so much for your support. If you want to make sure that you are constantly subscribed to me and not accidentally unsubscribed and you don't want to miss a video, ring the bell down there, um, get notifications and everything. So that way you stay constantly subscribed. Make sure you like every single video so that way uh, YouTube sees that I'm basically getting um, activity or whatever on my channel so that way they don't unsubscribe people from my channel and everything because I've seen more than 50 different comments from people saying, I was unsubscribed, what's going on? And I'm just all like, I don't know what to do. Um, but anyways, yeah. So this is stuff that's been boiling up in my brain for a little while and I just figured I would talk to those people as well that it's been on my channel and talk to you guys because I know from the very beginning you guys have seen several videos on my channel plummet um, like just taken off of YouTube completely and I went from having almost 300 videos to literally 76 videos I took a lot of videos off my channel and they're not deleted they're just on private and I took a lot of videos off my channel and it's not because of anything, it's because when my channel started exploding and I started noticing that there was a younger generation of kids that were watching my channel, I thought to myself, I need to be more monetized because I don't want these kids to be influenced by me by any means because I, I love kids beyond belief. Um, I used to babysit with my grandmother all the time whenever I was growing up. and. Um, even my roommate, I babysit her kids all the time. And so when it comes down to kids, I'm all like, I want to make sure that I'm as PG as possible, but as adult as possible for kids. And, you know, and to give kids something to think about whenever they grow older and to realize that people like me are not dangerous. We're just like anybody else. And we mean no harm to anybody. We just want to live our lives. Um, we're very peaceful people. However, I'm not speaking for everybody on the Facebook because everybody's different. But, um, yeah, so I, I took down a lot of videos because a lot of them were not PG. Um, they had a lot of stuff going on in them. And I'm not a lot of stuff, a lot of crazy language and stuff like that. And it wasn't just from me, it was from like a lot of my older friends. Um, that had a lot of language going on and, and stuff that was talking. And um, so with that being said, I was like, I don't feel like these videos need to be on my channel. I even took down a lot of my performance videos because a lot of my performances had a lot of profanity language and stuff in them. So I was like, I am going to take these videos down. So that's what I did. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Um, I just thought that I would go ahead and have a conversation with you guys. Anyways, I love you guys and I will see you guys later. Bye.